good as the only Commonwealth doubles courts that we can use, so it's really good to be able to have that facilities here and pretty close to where I stay. It's really a professional arena and uh, it's good to have uh, everyone around could play a competition on the actual venue. I played in 2010 in Delhi and managed to qualify for that and played um, singles and mixed and men's and uh, that was a really good event, like it was the biggest event I've ever played. To have this in the home country is going to be even better I think, I can't wait for it. You've got to make uh, very quick decisions in a short space of time. It is a non-contact sport, but if you watch the doubles, you'll notice that there is a lot of bumping. It does get quite physical. Within the space of 10 seconds, pull yourself together and get ready for the next shot. I'm Stuart Crawford. I'm the assistant national coach for Scottish Squash, and I'm also trying to qualify for the Games. For me, it's just the physical nature of the sport and the fact that you're in this confined space with your opponents, competing directly against them. There's nowhere to hide. It's probably the strongest group of Scottish players we have for maybe 20 years. We finished ninth of the World Championships last year, and we've been fourth at the last two Europeans, and we've got a really strong group of young players. You have some of the world's best players here. It's a different game, different tactics, and it's very exciting to watch. I don't think it will happen again in their lifetime to have this as close to home for people here. So I think you should just get involved and come down and support and uh, see some difference. Might not even have seen squash before, try some different sports as well. And uh, yeah, I think they'll have a great time. There's nothing like the thrill of representing your country. To be part of a Scottish team in Scotland, walking out at Celtic Park, to just be a day that I'll remember for the rest of my life, I think.